those of you that just finished watching Colgate and Clarkson, we welcome you to the New Hartford Recreation Center as Fox TV 33 presents high school section three hockey as the Warriors from Clinton take on the Spartans from New Hartford here at the New Hartford Recreation Center. Dave Peroni back again with Doug Meese and this should be an exciting hockey game. A lot on the line, especially for the Clinton Warriors. Well, the Warriors are battling for that playoff spot, battling for first place here. This is a big game for them. Uh, their destiny's in their own hands from the point of view. If they win this game, they're gonna be in first place. And uh, as far as second and third goes, I'm sure they're not thinking about that today. Many possibilities, of course, all of the seedings and the pairings and locations for the section three Hockey playoffs will be determined tomorrow night as there will be uh, meetings galore, not only for high school hockey, but also for high school basketball. Fox TV 33 will be following area teams throughout the playoffs, and we'll keep you abreast of those developments as soon as we find out the schedules on Monday night. The Clinton Warriors started off somewhat sluggish throughout the season, but they've come on strong in the latter half, and we'll see how they do against New Hartford in just a minute. We'll be back with the opening face-off in just a couple of moments. You're watching High School Hockey on Fox TV 33. It took Bob Moody a lifetime to buy his dream car. Jack, you want me to wash your car? Don't turn the hose on too hard. I don't want you to bruise the paint. But Sunday, it'll take his son one minute to destroy it. Carter had a little accident. Shaky ground. You didn't use an abrasive cleanser on it, did you? An all-new episode, oh, Sunday. Oh. And we're back at the New Hartford Recreation Center as we're just about set for this game between Clinton and New Hartford, something that is unique about both of these teams, even though there was a, a late scratch on the part of the New Hartford Spartans. Each one of these teams had their first female hockey player. Yes, it is interesting, and both girls played uh, took a regular shift throughout the season, had a lot of ice time, and it'll be interesting to see how, how play develops with the, with the girls out there. So for New Hartford there without Kelly Usmail, who was their female player, uh, the Clinton Warriors will have theirs, and that's Michelin Pennard. Red and white for the New Hartford Spartans going from our left to right. Clinton Warriors in their maroon and white uniforms, and this one's underway again. Really nothing at stake for New Hartford except the upset here. Warriors have several things on the line as far as where they will finish. Off the opening draw, puck is down in the New Hartford zone. So you hear them crunch behind the glass, driven around now on the near side. It was taken momentarily there by Borowiecki for New Hartford, tries to clear and he starts it out through center. Brings it all the way down in the Clinton zone. Now he takes it to the near corner. Tries to get it back to Corey and we get a whistle and our first stoppage of play. I believe we have a piece of glass that's popped out. This, uh, this game, a big rivalry to the two teams. The players know one another. They play hockey together uh, up through the ranks of youth hockey. Uh, they play a lot of summer hockey together. So it, it's a game where emotions play a big part here. And I expect this to be very close as far as hitting goes and contact goes. Uh, the players know one another's moves. It's a very small ice surface. And we're going to take a couple minutes here to, to take a check on that glass. Uh, you're looking at Coach Cunningham of New Hartford. New Hartford in their 30th season of high school hockey. So a lot of tradition there. Well, both of these teams have had great matchups. There you see the glass as it came right out and they'll try and put that back. Again, as far as the playoff picture is concerned, a lot of things at stake, a lot of things taking place over this weekend. Uh, some of the games were canceled because of inclement weather on Friday and on Saturday and uh, it's delayed things just a bit as you see our vantage point here at the New Hartford Recreation Center. And we'll follow most of these teams from the area throughout the playoff picture and we'll have a better idea as we said on Monday of course in Division One. Everyone's looking at Rome Free Academy, Whitesboro also in their very tough division. Anything can happen. Well that's it. Uh, this time of year you know it's one of those situations you really don't know how the teams are going to play under the pressure of, geez, if we lose, it's our last game. And, and it's different, you know, than the regular season. Obviously, playoff time is very different than just going out and playing a Saturday afternoon contest. 
So you see the goaltender for New Hartford, Mark Forsty, just trying to limber up. Very tough to get some opening play, and then all of a sudden there's a stoppage, and then you just get the wheels churning, and then all of a sudden you have to uh, get delayed. Division two, also a lot of interesting matchups. Of course, Clinton in there. New Hartford, this is one of the few seasons where they haven't been around in the playoffs. New Hartford has struggled throughout the season. They show some bright spots, and they have some weak moments at times. Okay, play resumes as the glass back in place. Puck is in the neutral zone. Warriors have it. They dump it in. Comes in the near side in the New Hartford zone. Now it's driven around the boards by Borowiecki for New Hartford. Gets it up to Dormio. Now it's driven all the way down in the Clinton zone. This will be an icing call. They'll bring it all the way back down. The matchup between these two teams the first time around. Clinton came out ahead 4-2. to two. It was a very close check. Close checking game, a lot of physical contact, a lot of penalties. So it'll be interesting to see today if the power plays and the man down situations come into play. Face off will be coming up in the New Hartford zone. To the side of the goaltender, Forsty. Here's the draw, won by New Hartford. Stillinger has it, winds it around on the near side. Taken there by Verkler. Clears it out to center, puts it onto the stick of Pinard. Bernard, again, the only female on the Clinton Warriors and a gutsy player. Now the puck cleared back out to center ice. Warriors will dump it all the way down in the Spartan zone. Goes down in the far corner as they crunch against the glass behind the net. Shot out in front. Hit the side. Tuesday, you outgrow a lot of things your first year of college. Oh, look. Even your high school sweetheart. How do you tell somebody something they don't want to hear? You say the words. Class of 96. I don't get this place. I don't think it's this place you don't get. I think it's me. An all-new episode, Tuesday on Fox. It'll be a power play opportunity for New Hartford, and they'll have it deep in the Clinton zone. And we apologize for... Some of the technical problems that we experienced there momentarily. Faceoff is in the Clinton zone. Here's the drive by Borowicki. Stopped out in front. Now the play goes in the far Another corner. Another coming up. And New Hartford touches it. And now we're going to have a tripping call here. This one to Kevin Berry for New Hartford is going to go off for tripping. So something you don't see very often in high school ho hockey anymore these days is a, a four on four situation. Four on four skating situation, each team a man down. Clinton will be man down without Greg Williams here for a minute 16. A lot of open ice to work here, four on four. Face off will come outside, the Clinton blue line. Here's the draw. One by New Hartford, they try to sneak in. Yankee with an opportunity, then he got driven off, comes out to the point, Williams. His shot blocked, and the puck out at center. Almost taken there by Lapata. Now it's in over the New Hartford line. Puck comes to the near corner. Campbell with it there. Drives it all the way down in the Clinton zone. Icing is waved off. And there you see him both go to the corner. Puck comes out in front. Borowiecki almost had a chance. Then he lost control. Puck comes back out to center ice. Campbell with it there. Skates all the way back in his own zone. Centering pass up the middle to Yankee, doesn't connect. Now he gets it back and takes a weak shot. DeWink made the save, puck driven around in the near corner. Warriors for Clinton having some problems here. As they've had the puck in their zone most of the period so far, now the puck driven out to center ice. Taken there by Corey for New Hartford. Starts it out of his zone, try to avoid a check, and we're going to have a whistle here and a tripping call coming up on Clinton. Chris Davidson is going to pick up the tripping call. You see the player just getting up off his knee. Corey, the defenseman, trying to move the puck out of the zone for New Hartford. Just upended. Ten seconds left in the first penalty to Clinton's Greg Williams. New Hartford will be down for 24 seconds with Kevin Berry still in the box. Let's take a look at the penalty here. You see just the foot being stuck out, the arm reach up. Tripping is the call. Off the faceoff, play in the New Hartford zone. Lead pass doesn't connect to Campbell. 
Long shot on by Clinton. And that'll be an offside call. Could be icing. We'll take a look here. Let's see where they're going to send this face off. The, the center ice zone here in New Hartford, very, very small. Not a lot of room. They're going to take this one to center ice, so I guess uh, just a mistake by the official with both teams still being a man down. Uh, they'll take it to center ice. and So the faceoff will come in the center area. 11 seconds left on the new Hartford penalty. 117 on the Clinton penalty. 11.35 to go first period. Puck goes down in the new Hartford zone. Berkler with it there. Gets checked by Stockbridge. Now they battle far corner. Puck comes free. Back at full strength is New Hartford. Yankee with it. Gets it over to Campbell right wing. Takes it in over the Clinton line. Now they go battle in the near corner. Driven around the far boards. After it there is Berkler for New Hartford. Lost control. Taken by Pennard in the far corner. Now she lost it. Gets it onto the stick of Stockbridge. Trying to wheel side of his own net. Being helped out now by Peach. Everybody battling. Now the puck squirts free behind the cage. 35 seconds left in the power play to New Hartford. And they haven't had any shots on goal. Puck driven all the way down in the New Hartford zone. Back behind his own net, Stullinger. Lead pass doesn't connect. Long shot on. And forced. He had to be sharp there as a blast by Lapata caught him off guard. Jeremy Lapata, a player that many people think could be the most talented of all the players in Division II. You talk to opposing coaches, you talk to his own coaches, very impressed with his puck handling skills, very strong player for the Clinton Warriors. So just 21 seconds left on the power play to New Hartford. Faceoff will come again in the center area. Off the draw, taken there by Borowiecki. Now in the Clinton zone, but still not a real good chance on goal. Just 10 seconds left on the new Hartford power play. Seymour has it behind his own net. Now gets it up on the left wing to Dormio. Through center, gets it to Wallace in over the line. Wallace wrist shot, just goes wide of the net. Puck in the near corner. Borowiecki had it. Tried to center it out in front to Corey. Doesn't connect. Borowiecki again into Wallace. The shot saved. Loose puck in front. And Clinton skates away with it. Both teams are at full strength again. Pucks on all the way down in the New Hartford zone. Icing will be the call. Good scoring opportunity there for New Hartford. Some very good work in tight. Wallace with some nice pass work. Nice soft passes in around the goaltender. So they'll bring this all the way down. It'll be to the right of the goaltender, Sean Dwink. 9.57 to go here. First period. Still no score. There you see Tim Soupy, Clinton coach. At this point, this team really hasn't had a lot of opportunities. Either team has. Off the faceoff. Puck comes out to the point. Williams has it. Now he sends it in deep to Ferry. Gets caught in the near corner. Now it's loose behind the net. Williams with it for the Warriors. Gets it out to center. Here's a race. They come in over the line. Lapata with it and on goal. And a big save out in front by Forsty. Golden opportunity as Jeremy Lapata rushed. Now comes out. Stockbridge had it momentarily. Had it taken away by Ferry. Tries to bank it off the board. Tries to clear it out. Can't do it. Warriors keep it in. Near corner. Finally, Davidson able to get it out the center. Then it's dumped right back in by Clinton. New Hartford having some problems getting it out. Hill tried to clear to center. Comes in over the Warrior line. Now to Spinella. Winds it around. Goes back behind the net. Taken by Lapata for the Warriors. Can't clear it out. Hill had it momentarily. Now it's chucked away from him. And back we come again. And over the line, Davidson for Clinton. Lost control of it. Now Kennelty has it for New Hartford. He'll start it off on the left wing. Just dumps it to center. Lead pass doesn't connect to Campbell. Back it comes to McCraith for Clinton. In over the New Hartford line. Takes a hit against the boards near side. Puck is loose and back comes Campbell to center. Lost it now to Grady. Grady just flips it in. Right next to Forsty, the New Hartford goaltender. Now in the near corner, everybody battling. Yankee has it there for New Hartford. Clears it off the center. Long shot coming up by Ben Dawes. Back from center. Goes wide of the goaltender, Forsty. Now the puck in the center zone. Stullinger had it momentarily. Can't clear. 
Thieme has it in on goal, and a save by Forsty as he hangs on. Forsty very sharp, coming out to cut down the angle that time. As Thieme took the shot, it was just a snapshot. A few rushes before that, a great scoring opportunity for Jeremy Lapata. As he, you saw his speed on the play, he burst around the outside, was able to turn the corner on the defense, and went to the backhand, just couldn't get the shot away. We're going to take a look at the last stop here by Forsty. See the quick snapshot coming here, but Thieme. Just got his glove hand on it. Made a great save as we're back to live action. Wallace for New Hartford. Quick shot goes off the glass. Buck in the near corner. Driven around the boards. Comes out the center. Here's Dormio with it. Wrist shot. Just a flex. Goes in the far corner. Peach has it for Clinton. Can't clear. Comes to Seymour. His shot deflects up. And Dwink had to be sharp there. And he's able to pounce on it side of the net. Len Dormio right on the doorstep there for the Spartans of New Hartford trying to get that puck free. Dwink able to somehow follow that shot. It was misdirected. Rob Seymour with the initial shot from the left point. Got tipped out in front. Dormio looking for that rebound. But uh, Dwink right there for the Warriors and Glow to make that save. Sean looks very sharp here in the early going. So the faceoff will be coming up in the Clinton zone. It'll be to the left of the goaltender. Dwink. Off the draw. Warriors win it. Stockbridge has it behind his own net. Starts through his own zone. Skates at the center. Puts a good move on in over the line. His shot gloved by Forsty. Now he lets it go. Winds it around the near corner board. Kept in though. Here's Venero for Clinton with it. Now it hops over a stick. Borowiecki had it momentarily for New Hartford. Tries to clear it out now. He's going to have to start back behind his own net. However, Venero catches up to it first. Sends it near corner side. Hitting pretty heavy at this Got point. Got a penalty coming up here. And there's the whistle and the stoppage of play. Rob Seymour and Ed Stockbridge mixing it up in front of the New Hartford goal. Cross-checking is the penalty and Ed Stockbridge going off for the Warriors. So it'll be a power play opportunity for New Hartford. 7.05 remaining. We're scoreless here. The thing I notice about the glass here when anyone gets checked, I mean, it actually looks worse than it really is because that glass really moves with the flow. It does seem to give a lot. A little cushion for the players. Face off will come just inside the blue line in the Clinton zone. We see a good shot of Yankee for New Hartford taking this draw against Lapata. Lapata won the face off. And they're shorthanded, so New Hartford on this power play. Campbell tried to center at the Yankee. Yankee knocked down. Now to Wallace. Had it in the far circle area. Now he's bumped off the play. And Lapata able to golf swing it out. And it goes all the way down in the New Hartford zone. Corey has it behind his own net. New Hartford tries to set the power play up when they get in the zone very deep and around the net. Not really relying on the point men too awful much. Lead pass hopped over the stick of Wallace, but Barry able to swing it down in out in front. Campbell had a chance. He was ridden off the play. Now it's taken by Williams for Clinton. Dumps it all the way back down. 40 seconds left on the power play for New Hartford. No score. 6-14 left in the first period. Corey has it behind his own net. Starts it off slowly. Lead pass up in front to Barry. Connects. Has to wheel around in his own zone. Takes it on the right side to center. Brings it in over the line. Tries to do it all himself. Tried to get it to Campbell. No good. Williams back with a long drive and a save by DeWink. And he's able to cover up and hang on. And he's made some outstanding saves throughout the season. And so has Joseph, their other goaltender. There's been a couple of occasions where they've taken a lot of rubber. Well, they have. They've been outshot a number of times in the games. But been able to come up on the, on the plus side of the scoreboard. As you look at the gathering of players there around DeWink. A good hard shot in the power play from the point that time. Jason Williams for New Hartford. Keeping the puck low, that's where you want it coming in from the point. You want it down on the ice. Hopefully, you're going to get a rebound attempt, but DeWink very sharp, able to smother that one. There you see some of the fans here at the hockey game. There you see on the replay the hard drive. Low to the ice. Going down that butterfly style with the pad spread apart, using them as a cushion just to really prevent any kind of a rebound. Well, the other key, too, was he had a stick down at the same time where if he had the stick up, it may have been able to find a little hole in between the goalie pads. 
Just five seconds left on the new Hartford power play. We're going to have a stoppage of play coming up here in just a second. Puck goes all the way down in the Clinton zone. We're going to have another penalty here to Clinton for checking from behind. You saw it on your screen as the puck was coming out of the new Hartford zone. One of the Clinton players shoved the new Hartford player from behind. So they're going to be down a man again, and it's Davidson going off. Chris Davidson, the junior. So the officials calling it very closely to make sure that everything stays in hand. 5.32 to go here, first period. And a lot of penalties called so far in this first period. See if we can take a look at the penalty here. See the puck coming out of the zone, and right here, you see the hit from behind. Player from New Hartford never knowing the, the check was coming, a very dangerous situation, and a good call by the official. Face-off will come to the left of the goaltender, Dwink in the Clinton zone. So again, New Hartford with another power play opportunity, and you'd think they'd like to get one in the net here. They're going to be wondering what they have to do to get something in there. Off the draw, big save out in front as Wallace took the drive from the left point. Now the puck is cleared out all the way down in the New Hartford zone. Race after it. Lapata scores on a shorthander. Did it all by himself as he hustled as the puck was cleared outside the Clinton zone. Lapata using his speed, Dave, to outrace Williams to the puck. I believe it was Williams. I'll check that. But Lapata very quick and able to get a jump. And once he got the puck on his stick, he cut hard to the goal. A good solid move, finding a hole between Horsty's pads. So Jeremy Lapata with a beautiful shorthanded goal for the Clinton Warriors. Still a power play opportunity for New Hartford. Long drive and Forsty had to be sharp there. Lapata again that time with a slap shot. Boy, a lot of juice on that one. Puck in the New Hartford zone. Borowicki with it. Can't get it outside the zone. Lapata all over the ice. Had it momentarily. Now it's cleared out the center. Taken by Wallace, comes in over the line, long hard drive, and a big save out in front by DeWink. Lost the rebound momentarily, then able to corral it in. Andrew Wallace coming in on the right side with a hard slap shot as you look at the goaltender, DeWink. Playing very tough, playing strong in the net. Take a look at the shorthanded goal here that the Warriors scored. Seeing just the end of the play after Lapata has already cut in around the defenseman. He makes a good move. He sees the little crack between the goaltender's pads and just slips it through there. Not much. Forsty had already committed himself and went down, so Lapata had a whole top side of the net. Still a power play for New Hartford. Seymour tried to hold it in, but it comes out to center ice. Now Borecki with it. 35 seconds left. Power play, New Hartford. Puck is dumped in the New Hartford zone. Out's taken in the near corner, but stolen by the Warriors. Out in front, Grady had a chance momentarily. Then he lost control. Borwicki behind the net, gets it out to Campbell. Starts it off through center. Campbell still with it, stick handling in over the line. Takes a long shot, goes wide of the net, and it's cleared all the way down ice again. Ten seconds left on the power play for the Spartans. Borwicki with it. Starts it off on the left side. Chuck from behind, stolen by Lapata. Stick handles in over the line. Still has control of it. Now the puck is free. Comes out to Stockbridge. Winds it back. Gets it to the point. Shot blocked. And the puck out the center. Williams will have to chase after it for Clinton. Warriors back at full strength. Davidson fires it all the way down in the New Hartford zone. Back behind the net is Berkler. Now he starts it. Left side, far corner. Hacked at by Stockbridge. He felt the lumber there. That is driven all the way down in the Clinton zone. This will be an icing call with 3.39 to go in the first period. We talked about the penalty field first uh, matchup between these two teams, and the same thing's happening here. And you know, Power play opportunities are awful big, and when you give a goal up on a power play opportunity, that's got to really hurt your momentum. And Clinton able to take advantage of a, of a shorthanded situation and come up with a, the only goal of the game here to see our score as the Warriors won. Spart the Spartans not on the board yet. Face off to the right of Forsty. Puck comes out to center. Now goes all the way down in the Warrior zone. Back after it is Venero. Puts on the brakes. Winds it around now. McCray has it. Sends it out to center, but Stillinger dumped it right back in. It'll be an intentional offsides call. The penalty or the face off will come all the way down in the New Hartford zone. So right now, New Hartford somewhat 
stymied and the Clinton Warriors were the better of the play. The Warriors seem to have picked it up here the last couple of minutes. Even though they've been, been short-handed, they're still applying some pressure. If you look at Sean Berkler for New Hartford. Face-off is in the New Hartford zone. And it's to the left of uh, the goaltender, Forsty. Here's the draw. New Hartford wins the face-off. Stillinger has it. Now winds it around the board, gets it over to Ferry. Lost control. Clinton keeps it in. Weak backhand toward the net. Forsty just covers up. And we'll get another face-off. The players all come together in front of Forsty. That old unwritten rule that you can't touch the goaltender. I think that's usually a place, though, to let out some extra adrenaline because half the time those, the plays are so innocent in front of there. Yeah. It's more of a, you know, just trying to get that little advantage, that little upper hand. You see a great shot of the goaltender. Forsty for New Hartford. Faceoff will come to his left. 3-12 to go here in the first period off the faceoff. New Hartford wins at Dormio with it. Gets it out in front to Wallace. Lost control. Puck back at center. Now the Warriors try to carry it in over the line. However, Williams has it back in the far corner. Williams got it up to Dormio. Lead pass. Connects in over the line, but offside is Wallace. Would have been a great chance just to half stride off the money. Great luck there. Great pass. Wallace behind the defense of the Warriors, but just offside. Uh, Beat the puck across the blue line, skating himself off sides. Had he been able to wait just a half second sooner, he would have been in alone. Talked about the short ice surface here. The neutral zone is very, very small. You'll see from time to time, team being able to take advantage like that of a small center ice zone. Off the faceoff, play is in the new Hartford zone. Everybody crunches right at the blue line. Now it's backhanded out inside the Clinton area. Williams goes after it. Has it far corner, side of his own net, being watched on the play. Now the puck's driven off the boards, goes all the way down in the New Hartford zone. After it there is Jason Williams. Has it behind his own net. Now just looks around. Now it's driven back around the four corners. New Hartford having problems getting it out of their zone. Clinton has their checking line out there. Here's Dormio with it. Just tries to hack it out of the zone. Can't do it. Puck still kept in far corner. Warriors have it. Lapata centers it out in front. Loose puck just cleared away at the last second by Dormio. Another shot goes wide. After it there is Williams on the far side. Bumped on the play by McCraith momentarily. Now it comes out the center. Over the line in the Clinton zone. They'll just dump it right back out. Goes all the way down in the new Hartford end. This will be an icing call. They'll bring it all the way back down with 157 left in the period. And at this point, New Hartford has to really be fortunate that they're only down by a goal. Well, they have given up a couple loose pucks around their own goal. Forresties look good in the goal. By no means can you fault him on the only goal of the game, a breakaway situation. So, you know, a very tough situation for the goaltender. New Hartford's had their chances. They just uh, can't seem to find the open net. Perhaps a little anxious around the net. Maybe not quite as, uh, as calm and cool with the puck around that goal as Clinton has been. Face off was to the right of DeWink. Play comes back to the New Hartford line. Barry takes a little bump there. Now he checks the Clinton player, comes inside, deep in the zone. There's Yankee with it. Tries to clear it out, can't do it. Kept in by the Warriors. Long shot by Venero, goes wide. Now Seymour for New Hartford. Tries to clear it out, can't do it. Held in at the line, shot toward the net. Broken up by Borowicki. And New Hartford starts it off the center. Here's Barry with it. In over the line, tried to stick handle. Borowicki with it. His shot save out in front. And we'll get a stoppage of play with 117 to go here. DeWink able to make the stick save, and as the puck bounced up, catch it with his glove hand. No rebound attempt. So the faceoff will come to DeWink's left. Both teams here with a minute 17 to go in the period are trying their hardest not to give up a goal. You don't want to give a goal up real late in the period. You want to go in that locker room with whatever momentum you can gather. Obviously, if you give a goal up, you're not going to have very much for that second period. Off the faceoff, Yankee wins the draw. However, they've been having some problems getting it toward the net. They're able to hold it in right at the corner of the far side. Then they dump it in back behind the cage. Here's Williams for Clinton with it. Winds it around far corner. Stockbridge now has it. Gets it out to center ice. Here come the Warriors in over the line. Lapata tried to center it. Doesn't connect. 
Another chance out in front on a backhand block. Now another chance out in front by McCraith, and he had to take it away at the last second. As Lapata, very dangerous when he's inside the zone. Puck comes back out the center. 40 seconds left in the period. Lapata fires it in far corner. Forsty just leaves it side of the net. Clinton making a player change. Back behind his own net is Seymour for New Hartford. Gets it out at the center area to Barry. Skates in over the line. Long drive. Trying for the short side up high. It was wide. Now comes back to Borowiecki in the slot. He had it taken away at the last second. Now Yankee with it. Shot toward the net. Goes wide. Puck goes in the near corner. Battle for it there. Barry tries to hang on. Gets it out to Verkler. Now he's knocked down off the play. Chasing in deep as Campbell. Battles in the near corner. Five seconds left in the period. Puck comes free. And it's cleared all the way down in the New Hartford zone as the buzzard sounds to end the first period of action. So after a, a sluggish minute or two, things really picked up some great action by both of these teams. However, Clinton carries a 1-0 lead after one. That's your score from the New Hartford Recreation Center. We'll be back with more high school hockey action in just a moment on Fox TV 33. Jamie Lee Curtis. He dreams about her. He fantasizes about her. I think you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. He wants to love her to death. People like you get people hurt. Yeah, but I'm the one who should be worried, right? A fatal attraction. Don't move! That'll keep you on the edge of your seat. Steel. Sunday afternoon at 4 on Fox TV 33. And welcome back to the cold New Hartford Recreation Center. Dave Peroni along with Doug Meese. And after one period of play, it's a 1-0 lead for the Warriors of Clinton. As we get ready to start second period action, we had a penalty right at the buzzard at the end of period one. New Hartford picking up a penalty. Kevin Berry going off for elbowing right as that period came to an end. So Clinton will start on a power play. Not always an easy thing to do, start a period on a power play. You're not settled into the game. You know, you just had a, a good 15-minute rest period. Kind of tough to get back in the flow of the game, and you're a man up. You have a tendency to go real slow, be very deliberate, and not have a real smooth uh, power play. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, the Warriors going left to right for Clinton, New Hartford opposite side, and we're underway here in the second period. Williams for the Warriors sends it in the New Hartford zone. Back after it there is Niebush. Now out in front, quick shot on by Grady. And a stop there by Forsty. Another chance at the point. And Peach fanned on the shot. New Hartford comes back. Corey in over the line. Takes it to the near corner. Now he holds. Three players looking at him. Now squirts free. Still has it. Finally lost control to number 15, Greg Williams of Clinton. And he gets it to Stockbridge. Takes it in over the line. Now it's back behind the New Hartford net. After it there is Lapata near corner. Lapata with it, stick handles, backhand shot, short side, and a save. And the rebound comes free. Top of the circle, Peach with it. Left side to Williams, his drive is wide. Back to Lapata, sharp angle, his shot goes high off the glass. Taken there now at the left side by Williams. Sends it in deep, goes in behind the net, round the boards. Lapata after it there. Top of the near circle and holds. Now Lapata skates in, backhand shot, gloved by Forsty, and he hangs on. Right at the goal mouth, you see Seymour there for New Hartford, along with Stockbridge for Clinton. Power play opportunity, some pretty good pressure being applied on Forsty in the goal for New Hartford. Stockbridge, a very big wing. You're looking at him there, number 18. That's Stockbridge at 6-1. Kind of guy that you want to put in front of that net and create as much havoc as you can. Look for rebounds, look for screens. Take a look at the last series there. See the snapshot coming in. Lapata. Yeah, great stick handler, too. Lapata able to come around and just get the shot away here as he walks in front. You see Stockbridge looking for that rebound, but Forsty very sharp with the glove hand. Back to live action. Play deep in the New Hartford zone. Back behind the net is Berkler. Now he's tied up. Tries to get the puck free. Battles in that far corner. Battling along the boards with Stockbridge. They're still tangled up. Officials are lying on the skate. Now the puck squirts free in the far corner. New Hartford able to clear it outside the zone. Both teams are back at full strength. In over the line for New Hartford. Long shot by penalty. The save. Warriors try and clear. 
comes to the line. Now it's dumped back in the Clinton zone. In the far corner, Peach has it there. Can't clear. Comes to the point. Out in front. Campbell. Shot saved by Dwink. And the rebound goes in the near corner. Taken there by Barry. He lost control. Puck loose in front of the net. Backhand shot. Barry. And Dwink dives and makes a save. Dwink looking sharp there for the, uh, the Warriors. So both ends of the ice. Goaltenders playing very well as Kevin Barry comes across the slot with a backhand shot. Dwink able to reach out with a glove hand. Dive across. Make a good solid save. Plus chance for New Hartford so far in the game. New Hartford playing some sustained pressure here and picking up a loose puck and walking right through the goal mouth with it. So the faceoff will come to the right of DeWink. Here you see the replay. You see Barry's backhand shot. Yankee there looking for the rebound for New Hartford. Back to live action. Faceoff. One by New Hartford. Comes back out to center ice. Sneaking through a little hole as McCray takes it in. Now onto the stick of Davidson. Lost it. Ebush has it far point. His shot toward the net. And Forsty makes a save. Able to hang on with everybody planted right at the doorstep. Both teams here playing just two lines. And uh, you have to wonder if fatigue is going to set in. Emotions run very high between these two teams. There's a lot of a adrenaline flowing. But uh, you have to wonder when it comes to the third period here. Uh, we still got a lot of game to play. We'll see how, how the teams fare. Faceoff comes to the right of Forsty in the new Hartford zone. Spartans win the faceoff. Let's see if they can clear it outside the zone. Hill had it momentarily. Now the Warriors take control. Out in front, Grady shot and a diving save by Forsty. One thing I'll say about the Warriors, everybody's in tight for those rebounds. Warriors do go to the net very well. They really really go hard to the goal. I think a chance for a rebound. They want to be there. Forsty doing a good job not to give up one there. See Coach Cunningham with some instructions as the players come off the ice. Face off will be in the New Hartford zone to the right of the goaltender Forsty. Take a look at uh, Grady centering the puck out in the slot area and it's played off the goal stick and the rebound very dangerous coming right back at him. Actually deflecting off his own player. Forsty looks good there. Back to live action. Play is inside the New Hartford zone. They skate it out to center. And over the line now comes Williams. Tries to backhand it in the slot. Nobody there. Now Davidson has it for the Warriors. Checked at the last second by Hill. Everybody battling at the blue line. Now the puck dumped back in the Clinton zone. Dangerous in front of his own net. Taken there by Williams. Lost control. Now we'll have to try it again with Matt Peach. Dangerously cuts in front of his own net. Tries a lead pass out in front to McCraith. That's Chad McCraith. Doesn't connect. He gets tied up and bumped at the center red line. Now the puck squirts free. Goes all the way down in the New Hartford zone. Chasing after it there is Corey. Puts a move on in front. Skates it out now. Passes out on the left side to Dormio. Just flips one in. We get a whistle. And we'll have an offside called with 11.36 to go here in the second period. Wallace just a couple strides ahead of Dormio as they come across the line. Very dangerous play coming out in front of his own goal. McCraith for Clinton. Perhaps he's seen uh, assistant coach Ted Foss make that move in days gone by. Ted Foss, an excellent defenseman, excellent player. Clinton graduate that went on to play some games for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Off the faceoff, puck loose at center. Borowiecki tried to backhand it inside the Clinton zone, taken there by Venero. Gets it out on the right side to Micah. Micah sends it in deep. Forsty leaves it back behind the net. Everybody jamming behind the cage. Here's Borowiecki. Lost control, and then the puck bounced out in front of the net. Forsty had to be alert one more time. Mark Forsty very active in the goal. See him come out and stop that puck from going around behind the net during that uh, sequence. And it's important to have a goaltender that can move that way. It really helps the defenseman out. Uh, they can count on that puck being there when they come back. They don't have to chase the puck into the corner with a forward setting right up there for them. Faceoff will come to the right of Forsty. Off the draw. Warriors won the faceoff. They keep it inside the zone. Peach had a shot toward the net. Goes wide. Puck in the far corner. Stockbridge after it. Tried to center it to Lapata. Off of his stick. Everybody jamming up now. Deflects into the crowd. They'll face it off again. 
And especially for a high school goaltender, uh, they have some tough saves to make as it is, but on the wraparound, very, very difficult to anticipate what's going to happen. Well, the wraparound is one of those plays where the forward tries to get you moving one way and then go the other way around the net and just tuck it in from behind. And the goaltender has to move from post to post. Don't forget, coming up later on tonight on Fox TV 33, The Untouchables, followed by Batman, Shaky Ground, In Living Color, then Rock Live. Married with Children, Herman's Head, 10 o'clock Flying Blind, The Ben Stiller Show, and then at 11 o'clock Sweating Bullets, as Wallace scores on Dwink as he broke in over the line, and a big goal for New Hartford as they tie this one up at one. And what a great opportunity for New Hartford to get back into this game after that goal. Andrew Wallace able to split the defense and walk in. Take a look at it here. You see him going right between the two defenders once he gets in, and Dwink just takes a quick snapshot and pops it right up in the top of the net. So we're tied at one here with 10.44 to go in the second period. Big goal for the Spartans. Lapetta cranks one in. The New Hartford zone. Now it comes to Venero. Had it momentarily. Everybody jamming up. Lapata gets it back. Skates toward the top of the far circle. Bumped off the play. Now back comes New Hartford. Here's Wallace in over the line. Lead pass in front. Kneebush. And he just couldn't get the wood on it. As he had Dwing diving out. Now they jam behind the net. Taken there by Kneebush. Centers it out in front. And we get a stoppage of play. So some good pressure being applied here by this group for the Spartans is Corey had a good opportunity as he came down through the slot working well with with uh, Wallace. Well, the thing there is that Kneebush, I don't know if he meant to pass it out in front of his net, obviously. He almost put it in his net as it hit one of his own players, and I don't think that's what he intended to do, even though the pass was centered out in front of his own goaltender. Faceoff will come now to the left of DeWink. Off the faceoff, everybody jamming up now behind the net. Puck comes free, taken by Grady for Clinton. New Hartford has come to life here after that goal. Now Chad McCraith has it, drops it back to Grady. Long shot, Forsty makes the save. Puck behind the net, Davidson has it there in the far corner. Gets racked along the board, gets a rough ride. Now the puck is free, squirts around the far corner board. New Hartford trying to clear it outside the zone. Can't do it, kept in now by Davidson. Davidson sends it back in deep behind the net. McCraith has it there. Bumped off the play. Everybody jamming. Now we get a stoppage of play. And we have 9.33 left. And the whistle. Faceoff's going to stay in the New Hartford zone. Play being stopped for the puck being up on the net behind the goal. Behind Mark Forsty. As you see some of the fans here. Pretty good crowd for this one considering uh, the cold and the weather conditions. Faceoff will come to the right of Forsty in the New Hartford zone. There you see a good shot of him. Lapata takes the draw for Clinton. Lost it, however. As Yankee won that faceoff. Yankee's been a great faceoff team player for New Hartford throughout the season. Play now in the near corner in the New Hartford zone. Again, uh, the Warriors have gone to somewhat of a stiffer checking game here, and they've tried to bottle up New Hartford in their own zone even though the Spartans finally get it all the way down in the Clinton zone. It's taken there by Lapata. Can't clear it out. New Hartford tries to keep it in. Yankee has it there. Top of the far circle. Cross ice. Here's a long drive shot by Stillinger. Blocked out in front. Taken now by Williams for Clinton. Can't get it outside the zone. Barry tried to hold it in and does. Now Campbell. Cross ice on the opposite wing. Centering pass doesn't connect. Now Stockbridge has it for Clinton. Gets it on the right wing to Lapata. Too far in front of him. He catches up to it. Little stick handling. Moves skates toward the net. Three players bring him down. Goes now to the far corner. Stockbridge with it there. Bumped off the play. Got a penalty coming up here with 8.34 to go. And it's going to be against New Hartford. Take a look at it here. at Lapata going down through the slot area. Got hauled down. We'll see the penalty. Uh, see who the penalty's on. One of the New Hartford players. Point. It took three players to bring down Lapata. Holding's going to be the call. As he put some nifty stick moves on the goaltender, Forsty. Take a look at it here. A good deke here as he walks in on net. Tries to split the two defensemen. The defense collapses. That's Barry Eight coming in from one side. 
So the penalty called in a 1-1 hockey game. Face off to the left of Forsty. Everybody jamming up in the face off circle. Now the puck is backhanded but not out. Warriors try and keep it in. Now it's cleared out the center. Penalty is called on Kevin Berry for New Hartford. Holding is the call. Clinton on the power play. Game tied at one. Williams sends it in deep. Goes behind the net. After it there, a big battle. Williams for New Hartford. Tries to clear. Can't do it. Kept in now by Davidson. Out to the point. Williams. Cross ice. And Lapata gets checked as he was about to tee it off. And back the other way. Here comes Wallace for New Hartford. Couple of great moves. And he just lost control at the last second. Good oh. job of back checking there for Clinton. Brian Grady in the right spot to really uh, give Wallace a hard time. Boy, was he coming at full tilt, too. Now the puck inside the New Hartford zone. After it there is Grady. Gets it back to McCraith. Chad McCraith sends it in deep, goes behind the New Hartford net. Williams has it there. Winds it around and clears it all the way down. Half a minute left in the power play to Clinton. Wink leaves it onto the stick of Lapata. Starts it off on the right side. Has a full burst of steam in over the line. Watched by a couple of players. Gets ridden off the play by Campbell. Winds it around the far board. Nobody at the point. New Hartford able to clear it out. They come all the way down. Yankee with it. Puts a nifty stick handling move. Lost control at the last second. Looks for a player. Takes a rough hit in the near corner. We have Clinton returning now to full strength along with New Hartford as New Hartford gets their player back out on the ice. Here's McCray for Clinton. Sends it in deep in the New Hartford zone. Goes behind the net. Driven around now in the far corner board. After it there for New Hartford is Campbell. Now he sends it back in deep. Wallace has it behind the net. Looks for an open player. Brings it off the board. Right side. Couldn't get it onto the stick of Wallace. Puck still loose in the slot. Here comes New Hartford back up again through center. Kevin Berry with it. Streaks on the left side and over the line. Now he's knocked down on the play. Tripping penalty coming up here to Clinton. And we'll get another stoppage. 6.33 to go here, and we're tied at one. Take a look and see the, who the penalty is going to be called on. I believe it's going to go against Williams. Well, let's see. Well, it was a great move coming in for New Hartford. Barry using his speed and really drawing the penalty. It's going to be called against Nick Marino. See it right here. He cuts around, gets the skate pulled out from under him. And Barry was going to be in, so not a really a bad penalty to take. you got to do something when a player beats you like that. Barry using his speed to cut around the outside of the defense. So a power play opportunity here for New Hartford. You're looking at the back of referee Craig Horan. Other official Dave Bilby. 6.33 to go, second period, tied at one. And a power play for the Spartans. Face off to the left of Dwink. Spartans win the draw, Corey with it. Shot through a screen, blocked out in front. And it's backhanded outside the line. Very, very close as Corey brought it back in offside. Puck was bouncing, and Joe Corey just couldn't keep it in the, in the zone. Faceoff will come outside in the neutral zone. The Warriors have a shorthanded goal here. They scored in the first period. Jeremy Lapata with a shorthanded goal. So New Hartford not only uh, has to apply some pressure here to get the go-ahead goal, but they got to be somewhat tentative when they handle the puck in their own zone. Back in his own zone is Corey. Now he takes it back deep far corner. Cross ice in his own zone to Borowiecki. Starts it off through center. Lead pass doesn't connect for Dormio. And the Clinton Warriors send it all the way back down into the New Hartford zone. Wallace will chase after it there far corner. A minute left down the New Hartford power play. Being watched by Lapata. Have to watch out for him. Dangerous even when they're shorthanded. Puts it right onto the stick of Lapata. Has it in the New Hartford zone. Now Corey with it, being watched, being bothered. Almost put it onto the stick of Dawes. And back comes New Hartford finally. Here's Dormio in over the line. Drops it to Wallace to drive, and it's high off the glass. They worked the three on two well. A shot just off target by Wallace. Dormio has it far corner. Cross ice doesn't connect. Backhanded outside the zone to center. Went in the players' bench and came out. Good three on two situation for New Hartford as they come across the line. Nice drop pass to Wallace. Wallace cranked up the big slap shot. The only problem was it was wide of the net. That's the one you got to make sure it gets on goal in that three-on-two situation. Hope for a rebound. When you have the numbers in your advantage, you want to try to move that puck and keep it going. Just a half a minute left on the new Hartford power play. Face off just inside the blue line of Clinton. As both teams trying to change strategies here on this power play and shorthanded situation and on the faceoff to be exact. 
off the draw. And Hartford able to keep it in at the line. Golf right under the stick of Niebush. Can't clear it out. Comes to the near point. Now cross ice. Virkler with it. His drive just goes wide. And the rebound in the near corner. Battle for it there. Here comes Barry for New Hartford. Takes a hard hit from Grady. Comes back to the near point. Cross ice now to Verkler. Gets it in deep to Yankee. Top of the near circle. Yankee sends it toward the net. Deflects wide behind the net. Here's Barry with it. Looking. Wrap around try. And wink save. Rebound loose in front. Oh, and it hit the side of the net. All three New Hartford players having a whack at it. Just couldn't find the open goal. Both teams back at full strength. And the puck almost took the ref's head off there as it shot off the glass all the way down. Yankee, Campbell, and Barry all having a whack at it for New Hartford, but couldn't find the hole. Play now in the New Hartford zone. Shot on by Stockbridge. Big save by Forsty. And the rebound. Far corner. Now it's driven all the way down to center ice. It'll go down in the Clinton zone. As this one's turned into an exciting game from the midway point of the first period. Play now inside the zone of Clinton. They'll dump it all the way down. Icing is the call with 4.22 to go here in the second period. One of those seesaw battles. Both teams having some scoring opportunities. Now well, coming up on Fox TV 33, Big East basketball. It'll be Syracuse against Boston College live. That'll be coming up on Saturday. Then we also have Syracuse Villanova on Tuesday, February 23rd, also live at 8 o'clock. And then we'll be following the Big East tournament. All these games will be live on Fox. There you see the doubleheader coming up on Thursday, the 11th Friday. And then uh, we've got a lot of games on Friday. Look at that schedule. Noon, 2, 7, and 9 o'clock. So a lot of sports action coming up on Fox TV 33, and including all of that Big East basketball, we'll have high school basketball and high school hockey playoffs for you. Very physical play around the net. DeWink for Clinton, standing strong, holding his ground. Faceoff will come to his left. Kevin Fari for New Hartford, perhaps getting away with one there. Shot right at the end of that play. A lot of fans on the side. A lot of fans you can see behind the net as they have stands right behind the cage here in New Hartford. Off the draw. New Hartford had it momentarily. They keep it in at the line. Ferry has it in the near corner. Now he's bumped off the play. Gets sandwiched by both players. Oh, it's a half. gets rough, and we're going to have a stoppage of play here. Almost looked like a football game the way the helmets were crashing. Real hard hits along the corner boards. Both teams trying to win the battles in the corner. I don't believe there's going to be any penalties called. Let's see. Officials are talking it over. They may have lost sight of the puck. They had four players down in the corner. Let's take a look at it here. You see one player is down already, and here comes the hit. Lapotica, or Stockbridge, excuse me, coming in and dumping his man, and then right after that, a New oh. Hartford player coming right in and hitting Stockbridge. So we'll see what happens. Oh, the puck is being played with a hand pass, I believe. And what the discussion is about now is a hand pass in the defensive zone is legal uh, as of last year. So the discussion is, I think Clinton wanted the puck to be put out to center ice. Perhaps the official ruled that it was covered with the, with the hand as opposed to played with a hand pass. Play is now in the New Hartford zone. Lapata with it. Shot on. Forced to the save. Rebound. They score. Jeremy Lapata. We told you how smooth he is with the puck. Picked that one up loose and walked right out in front. Put a good move on Forsty before he shot the puck. Had a funny feeling that they might score because he just took off with that puck and looked like he had determination written all over him. There you see the broken goalie stick too. Let's see if we. Uh, Forsty, see if there's any assist on the goal here, but had his goalie stick broken. So Lapata gets the goal. Dawes picking up the assist. Ben Dawes, you'll take a look at it here. Lapata keeping control of the puck. Somehow gets it back right here, and now he's free and clear, and he walks in with a backhand shot to the wide side. And Forsty broke his stick in anger as he slammed it down on the ice after that backhand and what a great individual effort by Jeremy Lapata as he walked around a couple of players looked like he didn't even have a chance or maybe another player would have just given up at that point when they lost control good hustle and good determination he's got both goals here for the Warriors puck being dumped into the Clinton bench the face off will 
We'll so two to one is our score as Clinton has regained the lead here over the New Hartford Spartans with 336 left in the second period. See a close-up look at Lapata bringing the puck to the backhand. You see he's got the wide side of the net low. Forsey does a good job, kicks the right pad out just a little late. The puck just gets inside that upright. Some great angle shots. As you saw on the replay, now New Hartford comes back in on get as Wallace tried to center it out in front. Didn't connect and back again are the Warriors for Clinton. Papata in over the line, sends it in deep. Now the puck goes into the near corner. Ben Dawes battles in the corner with Stullinger of New Hartford. Now the puck squirts free. Now goes to the far corner, taken there by Berkler. And Berkler for New Hartford can't clear it out of the zone. Lapata has it back again as he's just a pest, as New Hartford would say. But what a hustler. Now back behind the cage, Berkler has it for New Hartford, being bothered from behind. Now the puck is free. Grady has it for Clinton. Tried to get it out to the point to Pennard. Didn't connect. And the puck goes all the way down in the Clinton zone. Loose puck after it there. Corey had it momentarily for New Hartford. Now he's knocked off the play. Back forward for Clinton is Grady. Gets it over on the left side to McCraith over the line. McCraith centers it out in front and almost put in by Davidson. Loose play now. Puck gets sent out to the far corner. Davidson after it there. Now we get a whistle and we have an injured New Hartford player. That's number eight, Kevin Berry, who's shaken up as he took a hard hit along the boards. Kevin Berry down on the ice, taking his time. You see the official talking with Davidson, Chris Davidson of Clinton. You know, this is a big game for Clinton. It's one that they need to win to stay in first place. In the case of New Hartford, they're just trying to play the role of spoiler here and, and uh, knock Clinton out of first place with a loss. Uh, New Hartford has no chance of making the playoffs in a situation where a lot of pride comes into play. It would be very easy for New Hartford just to roll over and say, okay, this is our last game and let's get it over with. But they're playing very tough. They're playing very physical. Good, strong hockey game. Two to one's our score with Clinton on top. New Hartford's had a lot of chances in this period unable to really put one past the wink. Face off will come in the New Hartford zone. It'll be to the left of the goaltender. And that's Forst, who's had a busy afternoon in the net. Off the draw, one by Chris Davidson for Clinton. Shot on. Forst, has to dive out and make another save. And we'll get another stoppage. Faceoff will come from the same faceoff circle. Mark Forrest, a senior goaltender. You look down through this New Hartford Spartan Rochester or roster, and it's, it's really uh, the players that are out there are younger players. They don't have a lot of seniors that are that are a big part of the starting lineup. Uh, looking at Tim Soupy, the head coach for the Clinton Warriors. So New Hartford has to, you know has some strong games ahead of them. Off the faceoff, New Hartford tries to clear, and they do. They bring it outside the zone. It's at center, and then the puck deflected out into the crowd as Matt Peach flipped it in. They'll face it off again, 2-10 to go here in the second period. Two to one, very close game. And Clinton hanging on to that one goal lead as New Harper has played them extremely tough. We could easily have a tie game here with all of the shooting we've had early on in the second period, even though the last minute has slowed down dramatically. Well, the game has really slowed down as far as the pace goes. Both coaches taking advantage of every opportunity to slow the pace down. And we talked about the teams only using the two lines. So conditioning is a factor. Play at center. Long shot by Venero. Goes wide. Play in the New Hartford zone. Chad McCraith has it there. Tries to get it outside the line. Can't do it. Kept in. Now hops over a stick. He gets it back again. Left wing side. Flips it all the way down in the Clinton zone. Oh! Took a weird bounce. And we get a stoppage of play. And let's see if the New Hartford player is injured in the net. But it took a weird bounce off the board. And then the New Harper player got creamed in the net, I believe. It's Greg Williams. Let's uh, see. And it is. Jason I mean, Williams. Uh, is it? For New Hartford. It's Chuck Yankee who got pushed into the net. It was Williams that pushed him in, I believe. Okay, yeah, we'll take a look at it here. The puck is being shot in the zone. And Sean Dwink, the goaltender for Clinton, tries to come out to stop the puck for his defenseman. I'll take a look at it here. It takes one of those crazy hops. That is the that is the doorway there at the at the arena at the end of the rink. And you see it come right through the goal mouth. And really untouched. He's just diving for the puck. Yankee trying to get to it desperately, but sliding and going into the net. 
So he's okay, and the faceoff will come outside the blue line of Clinton. He didn't lose his balance. He might have had a great scoring opportunity. Play inside the Clinton zone. Taken there by Lapata. Now he'll try and start it off. Lost control. He's going to come up with a man advantage here. New Harper's going to pick up a penalty. Now we get the stoppage of play. Very scrappy second period. Chuck Yankee going off. Hooking is the call and tripping. So it's going to call both of them. They were both there for him to call. Yankee knew he had a penalty called on him, a delayed penalty coming on him, so he took the liberty to also trip somebody who just happened to be skating by. So not a heads-up play there for the Spartans. In a, a two-to-one hockey game, you don't want to be down for three minutes. So we have 128 left in the second period, a three-minute power play coming up for the New Hartford Spartans. They already have the lead, two-to-one. And they could really add some goals on the board. You see Barry, Kevin Barry, the senior centerman. Take a look at here. Lapata starting out of the zone for Clinton, and you see the hook there that uh, Yankee has on him. He hauls him down. And if we let this roll a little further, you would have also picked up the tripping penalty, but back to live action. Off the face off. Play is in the Clinton zone. 110 left in the period. Greg Williams, rink wide pass connects to Lapata, drops it back to Stockbridge. Has it at the near point. Nice poke chuck at the last second by Kevin Berry. Puts the puck all the way back in the Clinton zone. They'll try it again. Left side, here's Brian Grady. Sends it in deep. 50 seconds left in the period. 2.20 left on the power play. New Hartford able to dump it down all the way. Behind the net there is Dwink. He'll just leave it for Matt Peach. Now Peach starts it off. Passes on the right side to Stockbridge. Fell down. Taken there by Barry for New Hartford, who's been all over. Now the play in the neutral zone. Shot on toward DeWink. And that is stopped. Almost lost control with his defenseman, Matt Peach. And New Hartford has it. Here's Campbell. Sends it back out to center. Great penalty killing here by New Hartford. 15 seconds left in the period. One last rush for the Warriors. Davidson has it at center to Grady and over the line. Takes it to the far corner, drops it back. Nobody at the point comes out the center. This is going to do it for the period. So the Warriors somewhat mixed up here on the power play and some good uh, defensive penalty killing by New Hartford. New Hartford doing a good job killing that end of the period off shorthanded. Okay, so after two periods of play, we still have a tight one here as the Clinton Warriors have the lead by the score of two to one. We'll be back with more exciting hockey action for you in just a moment on Fox TV 33. Before in living color. I've been trained for combat. There was the movie that started it all. From the waist down, your mind. Keenan Ivory Wayans and Damon Wayans. I'm gonna get you sucker. It's a new record. Monday, February 15th on Fox. And welcome back to the New Hartford Recreation Center. There you see our score. Clinton has a 2-1 lead over New Hartford as we get set to begin the third period. Dave Peroni back with Doug Meese and a power play opportunity for another minute 32 as we get set to start action here for the New Hartford Spartans. As uh, we had some feverish play here in the second period. Yep. And they're going to be down a man for another minute 32 as they got caught with a double minor just toward the end of that period. New Hartford did a good job finishing up the period, a man down, able to kill it off, but now a much fresher Clinton team here. We talked about it before, Clinton battling for first place. A loss in the standings for Clinton would be very costly. Play out in front as New Hartford almost had a golden opportunity shorthanded as Wallace was in on Dwink, who was able to make the stop, and Clinton comes back. A minute 10 left on the power play. In over the line, shot toward the net. Doesn't reach Forestis, as was taken away at the last second by Borowiecki. New Hartford comes back. Corey with it through center. Taken away at the last second by Lapata. Now gets it in over the line to Grady. Broken up at the last second. And now Seymour has it for New Hartford. Shoots it all the way down. Rob Seymour, the freshman defenseman out there, killing off this power play. We talked about the young New Hartford team. There's an example right there. 
Button comes back through center. Pretty good move by Stockbridge, but a better defensive play by New Hartford, and they're able to clear it all the way down as Seymour stayed right with We have a penalty coming up here. And we got a whistle and a stoppage of play. Checking from behind will be the call. Ed Stockbridge is going to pick up the penalty. Happened down deep in the New Hartford zone when Seymour and Stockbridge got together. He's those had quite a few penalties this year. Those two players have been battling all game. Stockbridge trying to set up in front of the New Hartford goal and Seymour trying to force them out of the front of the net. So the faceoff will come deep down inside the Clinton zone to the right of the goaltender. That's Sean Dwink. We have a minute 30 in the penalty to Clinton. 25 seconds to New Hartford. Spartans will have a power play in 25 seconds. Here's the faceoff. Goes all the way down in the New Hartford zone. After it, there's Borowiecki. Cross ice to Corey. Back to Borowiecki through center off of his stick. Warriors able to take control. They dump it in the zone. Back after it now, Borowiecki again for New Hartford. Gets it to the line, but not out. Sent back in deep behind the New Hartford net. Borsty just leaves it there. Here's Corey with it. Skates in front of his own net. New Hartford has a power play now. He takes it through center in over the line. Cuts toward the net, shot, score, as he beat Dwink on the long side. As he caught Dwink leaning from post to post and faked him out, actually, on the shot as he went to the far side. And I believe Dwink thought he was going to shoot on the short side. Joe Corey, what really sets up the goal is the fact that he comes up the left side of the ice and cuts across the center of the rink. And the goaltender, a little slow, moving from post to post, as you call it, Dave. You see he's coming all the way across. And now when he shoots the puck, he throws it back. Throws it back to the far side. And you see the goaltender overreact. The wink just coming to the near post a little too quickly. Good hard wrist shot. You don't see that very often in high school. The kids like to use that big slap shot. But right there, a good opportunity to use that wrist shot. And he used it wisely. Especially leaning to his right. New Hartford has tied this one up at two. Play is in the Clinton zone. New Hartford battling. Here's Campbell in the far corner. Now comes out in front. Check. Loose puck behind the net. Back after it there is Majors. You hear him hitting behind the cage. Now it's onto the stick of Matt Peach for Clinton. Lost control. Everybody's still jamming up behind the net. Now it goes into the near corner. Taken there by Campbell for New Hartford. Back to Berkler at the point. His shot goes high. Blocked out in front. And the rebound out to center ice. Flipped inside the New Hartford zone by Clinton as they want to make a player change. Here's Berkler back in the zone near corner. Tried to clear it outside the zone, couldn't do it. Clinton keeps it in. Stockbridge to Lapata. And that was high off the net. Lapata has it now in the far corner. Lost control. Here's Barry for New Hartford. Dangerously split it onto the stick of Lapata. And his drive luckily blocked out in front. As it was a poor giveaway out in front of the net by New Hartford. Here's Clinton putting on some pressure. Out in front, backhand shot by Lapata, blocked by the defense. His force, he's been lucky. The defenseman making some of the saves in front. Now it comes to the point. Out to Venero, his drive, and a save, and it went right through the pads of Forsty, and somehow ricocheted behind him, but did not go in. A lot of pressure here by Clinton. Here's Greg Williams with it. Has it, backhand shot. Forsty says, let me cover it up and get a break. Forsty wisely let, <laughs> letting the whistle blow here, taking the pre pressure off his own team as the heat was really turned up here by the Warriors. Clinton applying great pressure. Ben Williams and Lapata doing a lot of the work. I'm going to take a look at that New Hartford goal from a little different angle. You see him coming all the way across the rink. As Dave said, he threw it back to the wide side and just tucked it inside the post. With that wrist shot, the idea of the wrist shot is you can decoy, decoy when you're going to shoot the puck. You take that big backswing on the slap shot, the goaltender knows it's coming. But with that wrist shot, you can snap it off anytime you want. The goalie Boy. has to be sharp. And forsty has been busy in this New Hartford zone. He was very, very lucky on one save. It deflected off of his pad and luckily came out instead of going in the nut. Well, as we get that, an icing call here. Since that tying goal, uh, Clinton has really picked up the tempo. They've really started to apply some pressure, some constant pressure, moving the puck well, looking to really go to the goal. So New Hartford has to be ready to handle that pressure here to stay even with Clinton. Well, you see John Cunningham, New Hartford coach, 
That's to make you wonder how you can play phenomenal hockey some days and other days it's just not the same. We were talking to head coach Tim Soupy before this game and he thought the boys for Clinton were a little complacent having such a good season. Here's a shot for the net blocked by the defense. Play in the New Hartford zone. Kind of mentioned he thought that some of the players weren't really up for the game. Everybody jamming in the far corner. Puck is still free. Now comes loose behind the net. New Hartford with it. Here's number 11 Dormio with it. Takes it to the side. Now everybody jamming right at the blue line. Finally it's free again. Here's Micah for Clinton. Cross ice pass to McCraith. Now McCraith takes it in far corner. Being held on the play. Oh, takes a rough ride behind the net. Everybody jamming up there. Loose puck taken now by Corey for New Hartford. Gets it outside the line and a delayed offside. And we get a stoppage of play. Intentional offside being called. The faceoff's going to come all the way down into the Clinton zone. We have not seen the puck down there very often lately. Clinton doing a good job of applying some good forechecking pressure. One thing that's good to see is that the officials, it seems this year more than last year, are letting the play carry on in the corners where there may have been more quick whistles in previous years, well, which is good for the players. One difference between this hockey and uh, if you're used to like the amateur hockey, the A-house hockey, USA hockey, or even the NHL hockey, the official won't blow the whistle on a tie up along the board. If he does, there'll be a penalty called. Here comes Clinton in over the New Hartford line. In the far corner, puck is free. Both players go down in the far corner. Puck is loose. Now finally New Hartford gets after it. And it comes out of the stick. Borowiecki shoots it all the way down. It'll be another racing call to bring it back down again in the New Hartford zone. The idea there about not blowing the whistle when the puck is tied up along the boards is it doesn't let a team take that whistle when they're under pressure just by going to the boards with it and putting the, putting the stake, skate and the puck against the boards and then having the whistle blow. So it's, it's one of those things that's going to speed the game up from the point of view of the length of the game but not only that it's also going to give you an opportunity to apply some sustained pressure if you look at the student body section nice crowd on hand for this one face off will be to the right of the goaltender Forsty in the New Hartford zone we've played almost five minutes in this third period as a hitting really picking up again here's Seymour for New Hartford tries to clear it out of the zone Clinton for checking tightly though. That's been the key here in the last couple of minutes. Now the puck is loose. Comes now to Venero for Clinton. In the slot. Deflection. Big save by Forsty as it almost tipped by him. And the puck now goes to the near boards. A lot of heavy hitting in front of the net. Puck onto the stick now of number five Berkler. And they score. Boy, a blast came in there by Clinton. You could see it develop as you had Stockbridge, all of them just jamming up in front of the net. At Stockbridge. Had two guys on him in front of the goal, but Stockbridge able to use that big reach at 6-1. Take the backhand shot behind Forsey. Forsey wasn't ready for the shot. He didn't know it was going to be coming. Quick backhand by Ed Stockbridge. And it's now 3-2 in favor of Clinton. And there was a lot of jamming along the boards, a lot of play out in front. You could see that New Hartford was getting a little bit tired with the set of players they had out on the ice. See Dawes centering the puck. Ben Dawes just centers it. There's two white jerseys there, but Stockbridge is on the puck. And a quick backhand shot. It goes in. I think he was just shooting, obviously, toward anything that came close to the net. And Forsey wasn't even expecting him to take a shot. Back the other way. New Harper with a chance down deep inside the Clinton zone. And DeWink had to make a great save. Now Clinton back again. Long drive. Big save out in front. I'll tell you, LaPata has some juice on his shot when he gets it off and he keeps it low to the ground. And Forsty had to be awake on that one. Play in the near corner now. 3-2, to 9.24 to go here in the hockey game. Loose puck out in front. Stillinger has it for New Hartford. Gets it out the center, still carries. Wrist shot, takes a weird bounce off the board. Puck is loose in the near corner. Back after it there now is Dormio for New Hartford. Takes it behind the net. Looks for an open player. Still has it. Too many passes. He had an open man at the point trying to get it in the slot to no avail. Puck is out at center ice again. Here's Stockbridge for Clinton. Brings it in over the line. Puts a couple of moves on. Check from behind. Following through is McCraith. Now he's bumped off the play. Here comes Grady with a backhand shot. Save. Rebound is loose. And it gets tipped to the far side. Now the puck goes in the far corner. Another chance there for Clinton. The Stockbridge worked it in. Now everybody jamming up. Chad McBrave behind the net. Battles with Kevin Barry for New Hartford. Now it comes free. Here's Barry for the Spartans. Lost control. 
We have Stelvin Beer lost his stick for New Hartford. He's playing without one. They should probably just try and ice it at this time. Here's Berkler. Can't clear it out. Comes to the point. Shot. Save. Rebound. And a glove save. And a beauty by Forsty as he hangs on. Forsty making the save on Chris Davidson who picked the rebound up there in front. Tried to put the backhand shot behind Forsty, but Forsty playing very strongly in the net. A lot of pressure by the Warriors. Warriors doing a good job going board to board, winning the battles in the corners, winning the battles along the boards, able to come up with those loose pucks, keep that offensive pressure alive. See a different unit out here for Clinton now. This is the first time we've seen this third group. So obviously fatigue perhaps being starting to take its toll. And Forsey has been sharp. Play in the New Hartford zone. Everybody battling again. Here's Ben Dawes battling side of the net. Kicks it. Shot. Save. Forsey dives out. And the pressure continues. 8-10 to go. 3-2. Clinton on top. Take a look at some of that pressure being applied by the Warriors. See a hard shot by Williams. The point comes out loose. Oh, and a good save. Good quick glove hand there. As Davidson throws the backhand up high. But Mark Forsey right there with the glove. Based off to the left of Forsty. Here's Wallace with it for New Hartford. Now sends it around, but not out. Puts it right onto the stick of Femi. Shot on. Big save out in front by Forsty. And back comes Barry for New Hartford. Up on the right side and over the line. Lost control of the puck. Following through on a trailer is Major. Can't get a shot away. And Clinton comes back. Two on one if they hurry. In over the line. And the drive off the glass high. Puck goes in the near corner. Now it's taken there by Micah. Micah knocked off the play. Here's Borowiecki. Winds it around the board to Williams for New Hartford. Now he takes a bump. Puck at the line. Now comes outside the line. And New Hartford almost with a great chance. Offside is the call. As it looked like Campbell was going to sneak in there and may have had a chance down the left wing side. Campbell hustling for the free puck in the neutral zone. Just a little bit uh, too anxious. Offside was John Major. Halfway through the third period here, Clinton on top, one to nothing, as we said. Clinton needs this game to remain in first place, needs a win in this contest to remain in first place and go into the playoffs, the top seed in that Division 2A. You're looking at Tim Soupy, the head coach for the Warriors. Off the faceoff. Warriors have it for Clinton. Now the puck in the neutral zone. They just flip it in the New Hartford end. New Hartford trying to back it out. Seymour had it there momentarily. Lost it. Now onto the stick of Borowiecki. Passes up the middle to Wallace. Lost control. Flip back out the center. Clinton dumped it all the way down in the New Hartford zone. And this will be an icing call. Uh, New Hartford will bring it all the way down. 7.02 left. Face-offs become uh, most important at this part of the game. And Clinton bench not happy with the icing call there. They don't want that face-off deep in their own zone. Again, both teams very, very tired at this point. They've given it their all in this hockey game. Usually when you see a lot of icing, that does show a sign of, uh, sign of fatigue. The passing not as crisp as it has been find both teams running around in their own zone from time to time. Faceoff will come to the right of Dwink, who's played a solid game again here for the Clinton Warriors. Here's the draw. Faceoff won by Clinton. Puck is carried all the way down in the New Hartford zone. Race after it. You can see Seymour for New Hartford. Not a big player at all by any stretch of the imagination. Now Stockbridge has it. Lost control momentarily to Borecki. Tries to get it outside the zone. Can't do it. Now the puck still loose, taken there by Williams. Now he lost it, comes out the center, taken by New Hartford. They bring it in over the Clinton zone. Here's Corey with it. He scores from a sharp angle to tie it up at three. What Just a when you shot. thought that Clinton was going to maybe hang on to win this one, Corey, from a bad angle, just let it fly to tie it up. Bill Corey, his second goal of the game, and he snaps this one. And I mean, this thing is on the goaltender before he has a chance to react. And it's a perfect shot. It is right up in the top corner. You see the play, Corey coming out, and he just snaps it. And you watch where this one goes. You see the glove hand come up, but it's up too late. It's right up there, right in that top shelf. A great shot, a great goal. I kind of wonder if it uh, hit off the wrist or uh, the arm of McCraith. It looked like it may have changed direction. 
So we're tied at three. No matter if it was deflected in or not, it's a goal. And New Hartford again comes to life. Play in the zone of Clinton. Here's Major with it. Has it behind the net. Now to Campbell. Campbell battles behind the cage. Puck comes free around the far board. Kept in at the far point by Stullinger. Now it's blocked and back comes Clinton through center. In over the line they come. Loose puck. Now it's to Davidson behind the net. Still with it. Was thinking about a wrap around. Now he gets it to the point. But Nero drives the flex just wide. Now the play behind the cage. Here's Grady. Winds it around the near board. Taken there by Verkler for New Hartford. Can't clear it out. Here's Chad McCraith with it for Clinton. Battles in the, behind the cage with Verkler. Now it's driven around the far board. Centering pass. Put right onto the stick, though, of Kevin Berry for New Hartford. And he'll clear it out the center. Now it's dumped right back in. Verkler has it. Puts it right back onto the stick of Lapata for Clinton. Wheels in the zone. Puts a couple of moves on. Finally got stopped as he was heading toward the net. They put it right back onto the stick of Davidson. His shot score! Ed Stockbridge again with a tip in. His second goal of the game. And it's 4-3 to three in favor of Clinton as they put some pressure again in the zone. It all started, and Lapata, whether he gets an assist or not, was still the main player to get that play set up and rolling. Stockbridge, a very big player. He likes to camp out in front. We talked about that earlier. Another situation there, a shot coming in from the point, and the big forward screening the goaltender. You see the shot here by Davidson. And you see Stockbridge cruising in front of the net right there. He screens the goaltender and gets a stick on the puck and pops it right up in the very top of the net. So it's four to three in favor of the Warriors. 5.20 to go in the hockey game. Play in the far corner now in the New Hartford zone. A lot of bumping there. Centering pass shot on. Forsty makes the save. And now they haul down Stockbridge. It's little Rob Seymour doing that. Seymour, the little freshman, taking down the big senior. See if we have some penalties called here. Looks like nothing called. Just uh, some pushing and shoving in front of the net. They'll face it off to the right of Forsty. See if New Hartford can come back again. They've had to battle back all day long. Play resumes, now it's behind the net here. Stockbridge again, big player, tries to center it out in front. Nobody there. Lapata almost had a chance. Puck is cleared all the way down in the Clinton zone. And we'll get a whistle and a stoppage of play. And we may get a penalty here, or maybe not. Heavy check from behind there at the last second. I think the key to the game so far, Dave, is the fact that New Hartford has never taken the lead. They've always been able to tie, and, and Clinton has always been able to answer back by taking that one goal lead. Icing call will bring it all the way back down in the zone. There you see some of the players behind the New Hartford net in the student body section here. And we've had a pretty good crowd for this one. Shows the support of New Hartford, even though, as we mentioned at the top of the telecast, that there's really nothing on the line for them in this one except pride and to be a spoiler. Play behind the New Hartford net. As everybody jams, as you can... Here are the hits from behind the net. Now the play in the far corner. Comes out to the point. Here's a shot on by Pennard. Blocked out in front. And now cross ice. As New Hartford is going to pick up a penalty here. Campbell just hauls down Lapata. And Campbell getting a little too aggressive here. Campbell going to pick up a holding penalty as Lapata was the man in the right spot. And Stockbridge able to find him somehow, slide the puck across to him, a good pass to him. Stockbridge able to put the moves on, and Campbell had nothing he could do but, but haul him down at that point. Not really the opportune time to get a penalty with only 4.35 left in the game. See the hold. He's got his arms wrapped right around him, draped around him, and hauls him to the ice. As you said, 4.35 to go in the game, down by a goal. Tough time to take a penalty. Out the face off in the New Hartford zone. Power play for... Clinton. Puck is all the way down in the Clinton zone. Matt Peach goes after it there. He'll start it off behind his own net. Gets it over on the right side to Lapata. Now he has to go back as New Hartford putting on some forechecking pressure by Andrew Wallace. Now Lapata has it in his own zone. Being watched. Lost control. And they have to go back after it again. 30 seconds have gone by in this power play. They haven't even been out of the zone yet. Now they get it out to center ice. In over the line comes Lapata. Now he holds, 
Takes a hard hit taken away from him by Borowiecki, and he'll fire it all the way down ice. 45 seconds left on the Warrior power play. New Hartford steals in the zone. Corey with it. Almost snuck it by Dewink. Puck is loose in the far corner. Mapata with it. Lost control. Weak backhand shot. Blocked out in front as Borowiecki tried. Now the Warriors come back again the other way. In over the line, Davidson. Was looking for Grady. Off the money, Grady gets wrapped up. Another shot to flex out in front. Forsty makes the save. Forsty had to be careful of that one as that one changed directions coming in on him. 24 seconds left on the power play for the Clinton Warriors. 3.28 left in the game. 4-3, Clinton on top of New Hartford. The big 24 seconds there of a man down for New Hartford. They're looking to get that tying goal with 3.28 to go. And now it's a situation where the clock becomes as much a factor as your opposition. Here's the shot coming in. Peach takes the shot. You can see it was deflected out in front. Forrest able to hang on. Off the faceoff, weak backhand shot by Themy. Goes wide of the net. Puck hops inside the blue line. Now in the near corner, everybody jamming up. Ten seconds left on the power play. Wrist shot save. Rebound gets deflected into the corner. Five seconds left on the Clinton power play. They're able to hold it in briefly. Ben Dawes with a shot save. And Forsty able to cover up on the rebound as it squirted over his glove momentarily there, but he was able to find it and pounce on it. Dawes and Micah doing a good job applying some pressure for Clinton. Clinton is been doing a great job offensively. They've been moving the puck well, looking for the open man, getting some shots on goal, and then crashing the net for rebounds. Mark Forsty playing well in the goal for the Spartans in New Hartford. So the faceoff will come to Forsty's left. 3.04 left in the game. New Hartford still in it. They'll have a chance to tie this one up. Clinton looking to win this one and capture the top spot as the shot to Forsty and he had to dive to make another save. Clinton looking for that two goal margin here to try to get a goal here to make a two goal margin you would think would would put uh, New Hartford out of range here with this little time left. Off the face off here comes the drive through a screen to flex wide. Rebound score! Lapata somehow was checked from behind and he saw that the puck was out in front of him just dove at it and there's that two goal lead. Jeremy Lapata picking up the hat trick, his third goal of the game. He started the game off with a shorthanded goal in the first period. Picked one up in the second period. And now here picks the hat trick up with just 2.52 remaining in the game. Big, big goal for Clinton. Going to be tough to get two here in the last 2.52. Lapata was really almost all the way down on the ice when he made that goal. He somehow reached back with his stick and, and popped it in the back of the net. Kind of just poked at it. Off the faceoff play is at center. Now they jam up in front of the net. Everybody's squirming for it there. Take a look at the replay of the goal. See some good pass work, good hard shot coming in from the point. Comes off the backboards, and there you see Lapata tucking it in as he's falling to the ice. Play now in the Clinton zone. Got a penalty coming up. Everybody jamming up for it. Now the whistle. Another stoppage with 224. Looks like a cross check. So the officials still calling this one very, very tightly. They don't want it to get out of hand here in the last couple of minutes, that's for sure. Jason Williams for New Hartford picking up the cross-checking penalty. So again, it's the penalties that have hurt New Hartford here on these last two goals. It's got to take a lot out of you physically to go out there and kill a lot of penalties off. And, of course, in the third period when you're behind, it's even tougher to score goals when you're a man down. So Clinton with the power play. Puck is in their own zone. Long pass. No icing call. Puck goes behind the New Hartford net. Now it's driven around the boards by Verkler. Comes out the center ice. Play at front at the Clinton blue line. Now they bring it in over the New Hartford line. Race after it, catching up to it, those Verkler for New Hartford. Winds it around, goes into the near corner, comes to the point, long shot high off the glass. Pretty good shot there by Greg Williams. Now the play is free to Joe Corey for New Hartford. And it gets deflected into the bench. 
and then comes back out. 49 seconds left in the power play to Clinton, 143 left here in the hockey game. Got to give Clinton some credit here with his two-goal lead. They've applied to sustain pressure offensively, and we're going to pick up a replay here of the last Clinton goal. You see the puck coming back to the point, a good shot. They were flex off the boards. The end boards comes back out in front. Lapata almost from behind the goal line, putting that one in. And of course, he had no chance. He had no idea somebody was going to be there. He was worried about the initial shot that went wide to the short side. Offside on the play by Clinton, so they'll face it off outside the New Hartford line. There you see the score, 5-3. We have a minute 33 left in this one. 39 seconds left on the power play for the Clinton Warriors. Off the faceoff, Warriors win the draw. Now it's dumped in the New Hartford zone. Forsty just leaves it back there behind the net. Seymour after it. Gets tied up by Grady. Now he'll just dump it all the way down. And Dwink had to make a save. Leaves it for Greg Williams behind the net. 15 seconds left on the Clinton power play. They don't look too eager to make any mistakes. They're just trying to maintain as much possession as they can. Winding down here. Almost a minute left and counting in this one. In over the line. Lapata, wrist shot. And a big save out in front by Forsty. And the rebound gets cleared into the players' bench. Almost went up in the press box. A little opening there. Would have been one of those million-dollar shots that you can never make for the car or something. <laughs> Nearly into the little press box window. Lapata again having a scoring opportunity there. Jeremy coming down, having an open shot. Mark Forrester able to make the save on him this time. Just 53 seconds left on this one. Face off to Forsty's right. And not the best of seasons for New Hartford, but they've played tough all season long. And a lot of these youngsters getting a lot of experience, and they're going to be tough next year. There's no doubt about that. Well, I think that's the key. They've gained a lot of experience at the high school level. Doesn't really matter how much youth hockey you play. It's at high school level. It's a big step up for, for the hockey players. Okay, here's a shot on, saved by Forsty, rebound loose, saved by Forsty, dives out after it, and he's able to cover up. Everybody's swarming in, and again, a little pushing and shoving. Now's the time you have to be careful again. I don't think Seymour likes Stockbridge too much. He always gives him that extra jolt New after Hartford. they're separated. In their situation, they have no, no games to play remaining in their schedule. Uh, Clinton, on the other hand, going to enter into the playoffs. Now is not the time to lose somebody for something foolish like a game misconduct. You see the Stockbridge there looking for the rebound. Puck Stand on the shot. Right. Puck comes right straight in, gets behind him, hits the goal post. Forsty able to make the save. We talked a little bit about youth hockey at the high school level, the difference in the, in the grades, the difference in the level of play. I think the big factor in high school hockey is you don't have a JV program, a freshman program, a junior high program. It's almost like going from little league to for high school sports automatically. Here's New Hartford with a drive blocked. Half a minute left in this one. As they're still not giving up, they're trying to get that in the net. New Hartford has it inside the Clinton zone, puck deep in the far corner. Everybody jamming there. Dormio for New Hartford still had it. Now it's poked aside by the goaltender, Dwink. Gets tied up side of the net with 14 seconds left. Just 14 seconds remaining in the season for New Hartford. And as you said, they've gained a lot of valuable experience for the seasons to come. Clinton, on the other hand, on their way to playoff action. They're going to be a real strong contender for that Division II title. And again, we'll be uh, following area teams throughout the playoffs in both high school hockey and basketball. So keep it tuned to Fox TV 33 or check your local TV listings for the games and times that will be coming up as all the meetings for the seedings, the times and dates will be coming up tomorrow night. And we'll know at that point of exactly who will be playing who. Five seconds left in this one. One good hit for last measure here at the second. And that's it. So a big victory for Clinton and a respectable game for New Hartford. They played them tough and Clinton knew they were in a hockey game. Well, they did. Clinton, you know, knew coming in it was going to be a tough fight. And they had a lot on the line, and New Hartford played tough, but Clinton rose to the occasion. Okay, as the handshake at uh, center ice, as this game concludes, 
And we thank you for joining us here at the New Hartford Recreation Center. We had a great one as the Clinton Warriors victorious over New Hartford. And again, we'll keep you abreast of all the playoff action that will be coming up on Fox TV 33. So the final score once again was Clinton 5 and New Hartford 3. You're watching high school hockey on Fox TV 33. as Fox TV 33 Sports presents the Division II Section 3 playoff as the Warriors from Clinton are taking on the Raiders from Fulton. Game just underway as Fulton going from our left to right in the red and green. Maroon and white for the Warriors for Clinton as the puck's in the neutral zone. Taken by Lapata for Clinton. High shot goes off the glass. Puck in the Raiders zone taken out by Madure. Try to center it out in front, deflected. Now Williams has it, shoots it toward the net. That's blocked, and it comes out to center ice. Taken there by Haggard. Dan Haggard for Fulton winds it in. 